Greetings, residents of the digital world. I am DS2 Live Gamecast, and this is Arc Episode 8. I had posted on Twitter and Facebook that I wasn't going to post another Arc video until I had the base set up, or at least most of it, um, gathering resources, an absurd, absurd amount of resources, and I've completed it. And I'll show you that in just a second. But first, I had a little problem here with the wild, local wildlife. Evidently, I left a female Brontosaurus on the island. And I ended up having to kill a few. Uh, let's go down there and get the meat real quick. Uh, can I jump? Oh, I'm still crap. <clears throat> okay. Derp. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. Let's fly down real quick. Grab the loot before they disappear. Now, I have no real reason to keep the prime meat because it's going to disappear so fast. If you run into this problem too, there will be a late game. Um, there'll be a game solution for that problem. It's called a refrigerator, but you need electricity, you need a fabricator, you need a whole bunch of different things to make the components for that. But... So I'm going to do a flyby of the base. And starting out, I'm going to start over here. Wait for it. Wait for it. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, get fellow gamers, to Casa del Toucan. Now, this actually is not finished. <laughs> As you can see, I uh, turn around here. I double stacked the normal dinosaur gates, and I got one mammoth dinosaur gate in the center so I can get like a larger creature outside of it, like a brontosaurus, or a, I think there's some new ones. Um, that are that large that you need the mammoth gate for or the is it mammoth gate or behemoth gate I can never remember but then on, I noticed on the sides I didn't have I couldn't snap to the the side gates the little gates that I have here so I just made some walls going straight up on both sides and I haven't progressed in uh, with the base past this point I haven't used any new technology, I haven't gotten any new Ingrams, I haven't done anything like that. Because I really wanted to progress through the game with you all. However, building of this base, big enough so I could fit everything in here and be protected, this is quite a large, large build. I mean, it's taken me, what, like two weeks now? Two, three weeks? To get this complete. So, yeah, just like this. And I'm going to go over here and uh, give you a grand tour. Let me uh, turn pterodactyl around a little bit. Oh, come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. All right, so, welcome to my humble abode. And as you can see on the left where the light is over there, I got a little fire burning. I'm not sure why. I think I have a few extra pieces of food I was cooking. But we have all this meat on us. I'm going to get it into one of the preserving bins that I placed here. And I'll show you around a little bit. Alright, first, I placed these uh, standing torches periodically throughout the levels of the base. This is three stories tall. Four, if you count the roof, that you can actually climb up onto. You have the massive gate out front, a large open courtyard, and a ramp that goes from the bottom up to the top. Just like this. So I can go from the backside of the island and collect all the resources I need, and then just come down here. 
and right into the door into the loading area now both my stegosaurus and my ankylosaurus fit in there however the this <laughs> giant ass brontosaurus is not going to be able to fit in there so I was thinking maybe eventually making like a loading ramp like on the second story specifically for the brontosaurus or maybe even a ramp excuse me even a ramp up to the roof and I'll just climb from the top to the bottom make like a ladder all the way up now let me uh, put this fire out and grab the cooked meat I have in there okay now I have a cooking pot three campfires for massive massive food storage or food cooking power Three mortars and pestles. Three preserving bins. Only one of them is active right now. Because I don't really need all three. Quite yet. So, let's see here. What else? Oh, also. Alright, I just need to put this spoiled meat in here. Go here. Go to drugs. The more narcotics, of course. I've made quite a few narcotics. <laughs> I've got maybe 140 of them now since I started and yeah I had to get rid of those brontosauruses there were five total that were outside the gate and then one in here I killed the one in here and then when I want to respawn in it was back so I don't know what's going on with that maybe oh hold on let me shut the door real quick let me shut the door real quick all right now, base from the base floor, we got two standing torches, one on either side. And I got a ramp up to the second floor, which is the aviary. Or the uh, aviation dock, where I'm going to put my flyers. So I could quickly get from the ground floor to a flyer very quickly, or to the base, to a f uh, from the bottom floor to base while I'm crafting, to a flyer very quickly. And I'll be able to keep my flyers in here at all times easy access to keep them fed and you know nice little windows they can look out across the courtyard and all that good stuff Chinook's been an absolute trooper by the way it's uh, unfortunately not Top Gun didn't make it but Chinook you are a trooper buddy you are an absolute baller pterodactyl even though you're very very weak you're still kind of fast and agile and I like that okay so right here we have the besides the preserving bins we have the blueprints the crafted items food and taming animal loot which includes basically anything you can get from an animal you know chitin creatine leather or hides pelts argentarvis talon argentavis or however you say it silk pearls and oil and yes, you can't get oil from trilobites. Little beetle looking things that you find on the ground near beaches. Uh, flint and charcoal and crystal. Also, I have uh, byproducts of those as well in these in this chest. Like gunpowder and spark powder. Some tools and armor. Including, you know, like saddles and whatnot. Yep. Wrong chest. Need to put this here, actually. Okay, and of course the blueprints. I just have a couple of them. Okay, and then these four chests are the main components. You got your stone and your metal, your wood, your thatch, and your fiber. Done. Okay. Now the crafting area is going to be right here underneath the first ramp at the base level. I got three forges, and I have my smithy, and eventually I'm going to need uh, more, maybe more forges. I could put one in between each of these, and then I can have like a, a, fabricator, a fabricator here, and I'm going to leave this back wall empty, because eventually I'm going to have four vaults. I space these pillars out accordingly, so when I do get that technology, I could put a vault in each section and still be able to walk right past them so I think that would be really really cool especially for late in the game uh, that we can have 
some massive storage options for us, some extra large storage options. Maybe even, I don't know, hold on, let me uh, check that real quick. If I'm correct, yeah, I could probably build, um, somehow build like a ramp that goes down to this area. And if I had the vaults just sitting back here, I could just go, just park the brontosaurus like right there and then walk or climb down and then just kind of put everything away. Or something like that. I'll figure something out for larger animals eventually. But for now, we have a very important task to achieve. Very, very important. Now, while I was rudely, rudely interrupted by that brontosaurus battle, we have to tear down the raft and build it for a specific purpose. Now, I was thinking a lot about this, and... I think what I want to make the raft good for is mainly just for just uh, to transport one large dinosaur or two medium sized ones. For example, like the medium sized stegosaurus on one side and maybe a, like a, you know, like a couple of saber cats or uh, a carnosaur, even, or one large one like a T-Rex. If I want to go out off out of the islands and go and explore and eat some enemies and get some loot from that, so like some meat, some hide, or like a brontosaurus, take it out and get some massive, get massive amounts of resources like uh, you know like lumber and berries and such. So I was thinking about this, and I really just need to tear this down. As you can see, some of it <laughs> already has been torn down because it was uh, damaged by the Brontosaurus that had actually gotten up here and gotten stuck. So I got my Stego out here so I can just transport all of this wood back to my base. And while we're breaking this stuff down, I want to talk a few th talk about a few things that I had ideas for when it came to this game. I think what I'm going to do for this episode, episode 9 and 10, is just to get set up to go and do our first exploration. Now, on the, I'm thinking maybe episode 10 we'll do our first, very first exploration of the island and go and try to get equipped properly. I got the Ingrams for Chitin armor, or Chitin armor. <laughs> And, oh, I need to climb up here so I can get those railings. Okay, let's uh, just demolish these. I want to be able to get properly equipped for a T-Rex battle. Because I'm going to have to, or maybe even a Gigasaur, a Gigasaurus. I know it's called Gigantosaurus or whatever, but my voice is not doing so hot. I've had a... Uh, I've had a bit of an issue recently with being sick, and as you can tell, my voice sounds a bit nasally. Um, I'm a little bit scratchy. I really apologize for this. I tried to get it taken care of as quickly as possible, and it's just not working. So, hopefully I'll be back to my old self soon enough. I want to go and... Uh, get the T-Rex or a um, Spinosaurus, I think it's called. Maybe even a Gigasaurus, if I'm thinking... If I feel a little ambitious that day, we might actually try and take one out. Um, also, we're going to need a Mammoth at some point for gathering, because, a, you know, a Brontosaurus is cool and all, but a Mammoth, a mammoth is just so much easier to work with. As far as I've seen, it's it takes longer to tame, but it's just a lot easier to work with. So, kudos for the developers on that, because you really need an option um, for some kind of mid-range animal that has a lot of weight capacity to it. That you can really 
use, like, uh, for gathering those sorts of things. I think, um, as far as rocks and metals and stone and all that good stuff, I think the best way to do that would be to just use an ankylosaurus and transport that. Now, I do have carry, uh, flyer carrying turned on. So if I can get uh, a large bird-like creature or a large flyer, hopefully I can. Um, that would really help <laughs> tremendously because I'd like to be able to carry the ankylosaurus from the base to the area in which I want to mine the rocks. Now this area, this island uh, behind me, the rocks spawn quite frequently. And that's great, but they're just stone rocks. They're not the, the nice shiny metal ones. So I need to find an area that has tons and tons of metal. I have quite a bit of metal um, in the smithy right now. Oh, no. I forgot. I had the smith... Oh, man. That sucks. I have no metal left. You see what happened was I put it in a small chest on the boat and the uh, the brontosaurus happened to destroy the chest and I don't think I picked it up in time. Let me go around here and see if the little backpack's around here. And it is not. So that's what we're going to have to do first is try and get some metal before anything else. And I think there is some on this island. So that'd be really, really good. And, you know, that's about it. I'm going to make build this raft a little bit better. I think maybe... Maybe should I leave it like this? Just open like that? Maybe I should, to be honest with you, because it's not really going to serve any purpose other than transporting a single animal. And maybe I need it need to make it out of some stronger stuff for sure because I, I don't know with recent updates and the way this game has been rapidly developing I believe that eventually they're going to add some kind of mechanic where if the dinosaur is a certain size and you have like thatch or wood it will just crush it or damage it over time um, that would be a real, real a-hole move by the developers, but, you know, some people might have good intentions, and, you know, good intentions lead to some of the worst possible outcomes in human history and whatnot, but, anywho, let's, uh, get Betty back to the base very, very slowly, and... Yeah, this episode has been kind of short, uh, considering it's been so, so long. Just kind of give you a rundown of what I've been doing and how I've been doing it. Um, first thing I did when I got here, at, instead of building this up, I just went and I built um, a ramp. That's why I'm almost completely out of wood and resources, except for animal hides and whatnot. I built the ramp, and it was literally like two wide. It started out as one wide, and I couldn't get the anklo... Ah, can't get off of this thing. Okay, there we go. I took the ankylosaurus, and I couldn't get up a one wide ramp, so I had to make it two wide, which took an incredible amount of resources, and I had to use my flyer, Chinook, to kind of help me piece this together literally one piece at a time or maybe two because it, it its weight capacity is so low that me riding on top of it with a couple pieces of a, a couple items like stone pillars or stone foundations actually overburdened it so as you can see I've just kind of made some columns uh, one looks kind of iffy I might want to either destroy that or fix that at some point and uh, just kind of 
made the pillar up and then put some foundations on top of it and then made ramps coming down to the outer edge of that facing away from the ramp and then I could place the ramps right up against the edge of the next one so it kind of looks like a really really smooth ramp um, I know there might be a little bit of an issue like this over this part right here overlaps and this part right here doesn't connect properly and this one is just off by a good inch or so but I mean given the fact that this game is so difficult to craft in um, not just craft but build in general and it takes so long to get anywhere I think I've done pretty well for myself I mean originally I had an idea to make a like a castle grounded type tower but it you can make a hexagon you cannot make an octagon and the reason being these snap points are very weird and they don't quite line up right so I made a square <laughs> I made a big box except for this spot right here which you can see I tried to cover up with pillars to make it look like it's not so much of a mess up and I actually built into the rock over there <laughs> but apart from that yeah it's um it's looking good looking real good and I think what was the control to hide the hide the HUD I think maybe F1 F2 no I don't know I'll have to look at it again and well I was gonna take a screenshot there in case you were wondering now I've shown you the first two levels but I also have another level up here where I sleep this is the respawn for three people oh ow <laughs> try not to break your legs you stupid toucan <laughs> and I have a you know chest behind each one so you can put your personal storage in there and the roof you just climb out or just walk out to one of the cor four corners and you can walk right on top. I might turn this into, I don't know, maybe an egg laying farm, like uh, line them all up and then it, have like build something out from this one of these sides that uh, when they lay an egg, it rolls down and then into onto another set of ramps which roll down to the base level, maybe. I'll have to test it out, see if eggs actually roll properly or if they just hit roll a couple times and then stick um, if they do roll down ramps that would be really really cool because then I could build like some sort of uh, contraption for that so you can see now you can see like the actual size of this thing let's go to the edge look down this is quite large um, each one of these gates is equivalent to like maybe too high of, a, of one of the major walls maybe even three high so yeah if I fall off the edge of this it's a uh, I'll, I'll break my legs and be be really really sad I'll be a, a, I'll be a sad too kid so I think the next step uh, like I said was a uh, gear for our first exploration I'll do some stuff with the raft. I have some stone uh, crafted items left over, I believe. Yeah, I got some ceilings, some pillars, some foundations. I need to make, maybe make some walls if I can get some more stone. Everything transported. Thank God, before I decided to take on those brontosauruses, I got everything transported to the base. Except what's on uh, Black Betty over here. So yeah, that's about it. I'm going to go um, finish up, tear down the raft, put the stone foundations in place of them. In place of the wood ones, just for aesthetics. And that's it. That's it, guys. Um, I think next episode, 
I'm probably going to maybe start farming because I really need to get like a medio berry farm and a narco berry over here. Um, I'm going to build it under this, under the rock, so it's nice and cool. And yeah, I'll just pipe the water right along that edge, coming out to about here. I put a reservoir. Um, I'll branch off with a connector or one of those intersections. One going out here to water the plants with the spigots, and one going into the base. Uh, I think maybe I'll put the reservoir. Hmm. Uh, where where does it look good? Where would it be a good place to put it? Well, just right here, just right there at the very end, like on my way out the door, kind of. You know, either here or I think maybe a better idea would be to put it on the just leave it on the outside. Or we'll put one on the outside and on the inside. So while I'm out here, I could do stuff with the reservoir out here. And then have it piped over to another one inside. So when I'm crafting things that take water, I could just come over here. Like maybe right by the stairs or right by the first ramp. Or right here. Now, the weather, despite this being a building... It's not completely enclosed, and not only that, but even if I was to completely enclose all these things, <coughs> oh, excuse me, um, all these different structural parts, it still would not be enclosed because I'm using gates and not walls. So I'm going to have to brave the elements no matter what. What I may do. What I may do is enclose this area completely. And that might solve the problem. That's it as far as next episode. We're going to be doing some minor decorating and some rethinking of this main structure. Some farming. And I will see you then. I have uh, been DS2 Camp, No Life Gamecast. If you like this and you want to support the channel and all... It's glory. Please click that like button and hit the subscribe. I'm also on uh, Twitter, Facebook, and Reddit, and some other stuff. So, if you're looking for me or looking, way, looking for a way to get in contact with me, the links are in the description below. And I will see you when we pimp out the space. Peace.